I would like to show you how to, an easy way to uh, transfer a, an image onto your canvas if you're copying from something and using the grid system. Now you can make this yourself at home. Um, you could just take a piece of paper and every inch make a line and, and make your own grid, make them one inch square. There's also this paper available here, bond paper, and there are, in faint blue, you can see there's already a grid on here. And so I took a piece of, just one piece of that paper, and I just took my ruler and, uh, and just took a marker and went over the one inch, where the one inch lines fell in both directions. There's a little, there'll be a little bit of extra on one end here, and don't worry about that as long as you start off with having a full one inch square at the top and coming down and over. Once you get this drawn onto a piece of paper, you can go over to a place that makes copies and you can get a transparency made of it, like this. And also I have another one here that is three quarter inch squares. Um, if you have a small photo that, or something that you want to copy from and you want to do uh, smaller sections at a time for copying, you can make a smaller grid. I prefer myself often to use the one inch grid here. So for instance, if I would like to copy this uh, picture onto my canvas here, I would start out by, after I got my transparency made, I would lay the transparency over the photo or the picture and make sure that this corner up here um, has the full, it starts right up in the corner of the image with the uh, one inch corner square here of the transparency. So I would count across the squares and here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten squares. And I would write that number down. And that's my horizontal number. And vertically, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a half. I am going to round that up to eight, and that will help me avoid losing any of this image uh, when I go to copy. Once you have your squares, you know how many squares are going across horizontally and vertically on your photo. Then you pick your paper or your canvas or whatever you are going to copy your image onto. And uh, since this is horizontal here, then I, I will start um, up here and, and, and look at the horizontal width here. This is a uh, 20 inches horizontally. And so I take the 20 inches and I divide it by the 10 inches uh, squares, the 10, the 10 squares that I have here, and I come up with 2 inches. I do the same vertically. Here I have 16 inches here, and on my grid I found that I had if I added the extra half down here, I, I came up with eight squares, and eight would go into 16 two times, which would be, and ends up being two inches. So the squares I'm going to draw onto this canvas are going to be two inch squares. Now, it's not always a perfect science, and um, sometimes uh, you will come up with an, uh, you know, odd numbers. Um, it's not going to be perfectly even. In that case, um, you might want to use a calculator for dividing uh, your horizontal um, by the number of squares here. And also, same thing with the vertical. If the numbers, if one number is, say, two inches, and if the other one is maybe uh, one and three quarters, uh, often I'll go with the larger number. Or uh, maybe I'll take an average between the two numbers so that, I, uh, you know, that they are more uniform. So I've got my ruler here. I'm going to start in this corner here. And I'm going to mark off my two inches marks. And I'll mark it off down here.
start down here and connect them. I usually don't go real dark with the lines. Um, I usually try to keep them lighter because you are going to want to erase them after you transfer your image onto your canvas or paper, whichever you're using. Okay, now you want to do the same thing uh, going uh, vertically and I'm going to um, put my ruler up here. And this canvas is not quite, six, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's sold as a 16 by 20 but sometimes you'll find that they're just a little under 16 or, um, you know, or underneath the measurement and, you know, just do the best you can with it. Just always make sure that up in this corner, your upper left corner that you have, that's where you start your full squares um, because uh, otherwise um, your image might get thrown off a bit and you might end up with only a partial square up in the corner where you really want to start the full square. Okay, now you have your grid on the surface that you are going to be working from. Uh, often I'll tape, um, I'll tape this, the transparency onto the image so it does not, um, does not move around. That's a good idea. And all you have to do is uh, look uh, at the beginning square here. And you can see, uh, if you were starting to draw this, that the, the line right here of the mountains starts about almost halfway up the square and then it angles down a little bit and then down here it's less than half. So when you're drawing, um, you just uh, can copy square by square what you see and it's less overwhelming than uh, looking at the picture as a whole and then trying to figure out where to begin to draw. If you're just working um, one square at a time, then uh, it'll be um, a lot, it'll just be a lot easier for you. And so, um, you just an example here, you can, you can see the proportions in the square where the drawing goes. Uh, you can see, you know, th this is like probably maybe a quarter of the way up or a third right here where this intersects. And so just, um, just pay attention to where they, your lines fall and then just do, draw those lines in. And uh, this is a sure way to get some accurate drawing onto the surface that you will be working with. Thank you. <laughs>